uh, I, I apologize, guys. I, I, if I knew, we wouldn't deal with this. Um, I have tried so much to fix this stupid uh, disconnect reconnect thing. I promise it's not my internet. Uh, just like it wasn't when Netflix was flaking out on the boxing match. Um, really annoying, though. Look at all the goodness all around. All right, now we can do this. All our animals are out. Oops. Hi, guys. Uh, I guess milking is going to be iffy today. Uh, let's do that. Uh, I can put that up. <laughs> all corn to sell so far. Uh, we're going to need to make more jelly. All our corn. That's not quite ready yet. Come on, go. Never thought my lightning rods would be so. Uh, troubled. From me getting around them. Hey guys. I want to say hi to you all. I don't know where the rest of them are. I need that hoe. Ducks! There's another chicken. <coughs> I'm missing a cow. Oh, there's the other cow. Uh, all right. You go away. Go away. Uh, I will, because this never really stinks. So let's put a fairy rose up there for now. Oh, th there's a cow. All right, we already talked to that one. <laughs> what do you? You can't eat out of the bin, dude. Get away! Stop it! Oh my! Cow? Go! Oh my god! <laughs> that is infuriating. Uh, I need a mini bin. Well, I guess I can go cash in on the cash. Um, I really should hold on to my cash. Uh, let's get the hoe. It's a neutral day. We'll probably chop trees. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, we're coming into plum season, I think. Do not sell the plum. I uh, I apologize, guys. Anything uh, about the stream? Oh, now we get the ad break going again. Uh, I don't know. We've we've had several bounces. Sometimes you can tell if there's something buried underground. Just keep your eyes open. Uh, four anchovies gets us a ticket. Maybe we're fishing today. Oh, uh, yeah, we gotta go. Gotta go get Marnie after that. Caroline, thank you so much for the recipe. I appreciate it. Feeling relaxed? I bet. Uh, <laughs> kinda. Uh, except for my cow preventing me from selling my crops. Uh, this stuff can definitely be incorporated into a healthy diet. Nice. Looks like some yams. Mm. Wish the season lasted a little longer. I know. It's so when the wind really picks up, I almost feel like a kid again. Hey, we're all kids, as long as we want to be. Um, 7,600 in fairy rose, 840 in cranberry jelly. Yeah, almost back up to 20 grand, and we just, uh, got our upgrade working. Uh, so I do have my fishing rod. George spends the whole day in front of that darn television set. Oh, I gotta go get my hoe. Um, I know, I know. I wish he'd go outside more. It's fresh air, we're doing good. Uh, he could take his TV outside. Maybe have Alex run an extension cord? Get fresh air and TV. Oh, I'm really exhausted, too. Hey, Clint. I didn't. I wanted to check.
chat. The weather doesn't really matter to me. I typically stay in my shop. It's not depressing. Nope. Ah. There's my hoe. Hi ho. All right. <coughs> For the sake of a ticket, I didn't bring the chewing stick, I guess. So I missed out on that. are going to have to eat some hops. Precious, precious hops. To keep our fishing going. Uh, but four anchovies for a ticket? Carving pumpkins. Welcome back. Thanks for supporting through the ads again. Uh, terrible apologies. My legs are stiff from sitting at my writing desk all night. Sometimes I can do you well. Alright, I guess, uh, well, we can... Go sell, uh... Fish. I don't know if any of these really count as... Um... Forage. Feels like forage. I mean, they're you're foraging them off the beach, but yeah. all right, four anchovies. I mean, if all we're going to get are iridium-quality sea cucumbers, that's something. Sardine. <laughs> Willie, I need help catching anchovies. Tell me how I catch anchovies. anchovy. There we go. One.
I lost my, uh, lost my thing. That was a Iridium anchovy. Get me half of the anchovies I need, please. Damn it. I got some respect to my nose itching. Complete about an albacore. There we go. Halfway through, uh, Am I greedy now? Trying to get another anchovy? Also, does anybody know how the uh, the fish XP works to like somebody that's not a uh, code genius? Like, does it does the value of the fish that I know the quality of the fish and catching the fish and the, you know, getting the perfect and uh, max casts and all that all plays a role. Um, and it would seem to make sense that like a scorpion carp gets you more XP than a herring, for instance. Where are you? Kind of jumpy. You were kind of jumpy. Just an albacore. Just an albacore. We didn't quite get all of our anchovies, but uh, we used up all that energy. It's time to head for bed. Maybe we'll catch some people. 
uh, as we pass by the saloon. Really wanted to try for more plums. Um, but I don't know that the time is going to allow for that. Ah! Ah, dude. Stop. Hey, Marnie, I'm really sorry I missed your... Yeah, that's fair. Missed your birthday. Dude! Alright, hold on. I'm gonna go full... Your grandfather always worked himself too hard. I'll have an extra beer in his honor tonight. Uh, whatever you gotta do to justify a beer for yourself. Uh, do you have a kitchen in your house? Uh, hang on. Hang on. Oh, damn it. Pierre. Alright, before we do this, I don't think I talked to Pierre. Yeah, so he didn't get a conversation, even though... Well, actually, I don't even know if I talked to my father. Abigail's going through a rebellious phase. I get it. Eh. She'll wise up when she has to make a free. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you there. Yep. Uh, oh, oh, hey, guys. Uh, you can catch me at the saloon most nights. Uh, like on my birthday. Animals are a great company, but I need to spend time with people, too. I owe you a birthday gift, and it's going to be awesome. I guess I've already talked to the mayor. Shane, uh, my aunt really hates clay. Well, I won't give that to her for her birthday, then. All right, now let's get back around. Uh, do I have a kitchen on my farm? Not yet. If you have a kitchen, you can cook all kinds of delicious meals. Damn it, now Willie's going. God, you guys suck. <laughs> the hell, man? Just talk to me. If you really want to get the fish bite, make sure to put some bait on your hook. Yeah, I did, and I only got three of four of your anchovies. Clint, I'm going to talk to you right now before... Oh, I already did. Damn it. Uh, Elliot, can we... Oh, we already talked. Uh, give me another point of your stars. Yeah, uh, there's... So it's been really good night, please. Emily, I got to Emily. Another beautiful fall day. Uh, it's pretty little speed and be over. Ah, we got time. It's not even, uh, not even the last week yet. All right, she talked straight up. And I talked to him in the shop, right? He asked me about the duck quill, or was that yesterday? Uh, all right, so I know we missed Barney, but we've also got Robin on Sunday. Think about. <laughs> well, now we really got to get back to bed. We're... It's already late. We're not getting our uh, our energy filled back up. It's a vicious cycle when you don't have a kitchen. But animals are important. All right, now the stupid cow's out of my way. Sheesh. All right, we'll keep three. We'll sell three. Uh, I'll keep that. All of my albacore were super quality. Uh, we want to keep our anchovies, uh, so let's sell our sardines. And then up to here, because nothing like wasting more time. Alright, the rest of the fish we'll put away tomorrow. Let's just go to bed. Uh, 612.96. Yeah, it's, it, we, because we had no farming, I had to sell that stuff to Pierre, so. Could have been a much better day. Uh, weather report. Cloudy. Windy. Uh, spirits are good humor today. A little extra luck. Well, that's good. Maybe they'll turn into anchovies. All right, now we can take a look here. Uh, so, sea cucumbers. It is good to uh, store a few of those. Uh, have a quality super cucumber. I had one silver star albacore, but now I got gold star. And then I got to hang on to these two. Let's uh, move that. And let's put this away for safekeeping. I now have four. <laughs> Count them four. Awesome uh, plums. All right. Got to get our watering can. I got to get out a 
diamond and let's take an amaranth. We'll go uh, definitely pay Marnie a visit today. Make up for Miss Birthday and the fact that I've been sitting on that. Uh, I also need cranberries to make more wine. And... Go. Oh, uh, sure. Hi, animals. Man, we are not milking the cows at all because they're all scattered. Uh, if it was an auto thing, it wouldn't matter. They'd get milked before they departed for the day. But at least we got every other day grapes. How are these amaranths so slow, man? Uh, I guess they're slow because we'd already... Uh, it, when we first started today, I was thinking that uh, we'd never harvested amaranth. But we already grew one batch. This is the the new crop. Just remember we were growing wheat there the whole time. Uh... Did I get that? Man, it doesn't look wet down there. What? You told me the spirits were happy. I'm doubting it heavily right now. Sorry. Right. All we gotta do is catch one more albacore. Uh, we'll get those artifact trows. And we're gonna clean up some quests today. Backup beeper on garbage truck or something. I don't know. Hey, look, our wild seeds are taking form. That's good. Uh, but yeah, that piece of music in the game and uh, backup beeping thing on a truck did not go together well. That was not uh, not the best pairing. Not a great, uh, a great bounty on the farm today. Um, I know pigs are 1,600. Do we remember how much rabbits are? Are they 16 as well? Uh, did I? I don't think I did. So, anyway, there was the saga of my, um, my game day coffee. So, uh, I got up super early on Saturday before the 7 a.m. pickup for our morning tailgate, and I went to the donut shop right down the street, and I got, uh, donuts and donut holes to take to the, uh, the tailgate for everybody to snack on, and... Uh, I had asked, I was like, does anybody want coffee? Because they do like a 96 ounce to go coffee carafe kind of thing, right? And I was like, this would um, certainly would be doable. Um, and people were kind of like, nah, I got coffee at home. You know, like, we'll, we'll all coffee up and then, and then be there. And I was like, oh, that's fun. So when I, instead of making coffee, because I had to run this errand at like, before 6 a.m. on a frosty, wintry... Yeah, it wasn't wintry. It was very autumny, but uh, frosty morning. I had to scrape the windows and all that on the truck and uh, get over there on my short little ride. But um, I just got a cup of coffee at the donut shop, right? I got donut shop coffee. And this wasn't Dunkin' or anything like that. Uh, local chain. Very, very good. Um, but I was surprised. You know, good coffee. It tasted great. But it was like, man, that does not have the kick that my coffee has in terms of pure heavy goodness um so it's kind of like yeah yeah i'm up and uh, i'm awake and everything but I'm, I'm not feeling it and uh when we got into the game so this is uh probably 
I think it was maybe even second half, but maybe not, maybe second quarter. So it's like 11 a.m. somewhere in there. And I'm like, man, you know, I'm still just kind of dragging on the day. And I went up uh, to the uh, the beverage line, and they had uh, they had done for last year, and I'd seen them. My buddy got one. Uh, they had Yeti uh, coffee mugs, just like this one. Um, but they were for the hundredth anniversary of Folsom Field, and I was like, oh yeah, you know, I kind of kind of wouldn't have minded one of those. And then I saw because they were branded as. Uh, 1924 to 2023 the 100 year anniversary um they were they were selling them they were 1999 at the stadium at the thing for a full yeti of uh of coffee or it was coffee or hot chocolate or something i don't know i was like give me the coffee so i got one of those 20 bucks anybody who knows 20 bucks for a yeti mug insulated is awesome and uh, I think there were 50 last year when they were, like, you know, trying to move them. Now it was – obviously they were trying to clear them out. So I'm like, hell yeah, give me a <laughs> – give me a mug of coffee. And it was great. Uh, I'm like, awesome, this is cool. Um, So I'm sipping on my coffee. And then we get towards the end of the game, and I'm, like, almost through the coffee. And, I, you know, I'd been sipping it along the way, and – I go to, like, oh, we're right near the end, and I go to uh, take the last sip and, you know, kind of throw it back and let it all come through. And there must have been, like, a full teaspoon worth, or tablespoon worth of grounds in the bottom of that cup. I, like, instantly, my whole mouth is just full grounds. I'm like, run out, run out from the seats into the uh, main area by the garbage can, and I'm like, doing the whole, like, finger scoop along my teeth, and it's just coming up, like, caked in here uh, with just wads of grounds. It was absolutely uh, horrid. I don't know I don't know what went so bad in their filling of that uh, cup of coffee, but uh, nasty. Anyway, that was all secondary to the fact that I got an awesome mug. Well, then we... Uh, uh, went back to one of my buddies' house because, again, uh, it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon and uh, we're all done with the game, we're all hanging out, and we're like, oh, well, let's watch this other game that's relevant to ours. And uh, so we just hung <laughs> we – we brought up a cooler and people hadn't drank very much beer. Uh, so we sat around drinking the beer out of the cooler while we were waiting. And <laughs> it, was, it was a great afternoon. It was Two of my best friends hanging out and uh, just really getting to catch up for a while. All that was wonderful, like 10 o'clock. So now I've gone from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. all day long. <clears throat> and I order my Uber to go home. And sadly, I totally forgot my coffee mug uh, at my buddy's house. So <laughs> it is. Uh, that was the tragedy. That and the grounds were the tragedies of my super discount. I uh, loved the catch and the clearance sale. Uh, on another another Yeti mug, so we'll have something to show off in uh, in chat for um uh what you call it coffee streams, right? Instead of we got the Fort Snelling mug and the Snowman and all those for tea, uh, coffee days different. All right, uh, it's still looking here. We can get that. So our plan which we will accept, is to... It's only 11 a.m. We're going to ship these grapes on this... Cranberries? I don't think it... Uh... I don't think it matters too much that we get the cash today. So I think I'm going to bin ship it. Oh, I'm sorry, I got it. I was probably so close to the mic. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I don't I don't know why my nose is just full on exploded now. Um hang on one second.
Um, I, I don't know. It's going now. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the bin. Uh, we will ship these things because I don't need this cash immediately. Uh, we can drop off these guys. Uh, cows. Oh, we got a goat. That's good. Is this the other cow? One of these two cows needs a loving. No, I had both the cows. All right, whatever. Uh, away we go. Down to Marnie's. We're going to give her a birthday gift. We're going to drop off this amaranth that I forgot I had. Um, it's Saturday, so no wandering trader. No plums in the immediate vicinity. Uh, here you go. Oh, the amaranth asked for it. Thank you so much. My cows are going to love this. And I didn't see a smiley face. Have you ever been to that strange tower in my house? A few times. Uh, one time I heard this terrible otherworldly noise coming from there. Uh-oh. Uh, I would avoid that place if I were you. Well, I, I think you should avoid it if you heard the weird noise. I don't hear any weird noises. I'm renting my room from Marnie at a really good price. It's small, but I can't complain. It's huge, dude. It's bigger than my whole cabin. What are you talking about? And clean the floor. It looks awful in there. All right. Now on to business. So that clears up our cow's delight. Gotta get these quests back under control. Oh, uh, Caroline needs a pumpkin. I did forget that one would have been easy to fill today, but it's okay. Uh, we're gonna cut across to Clint's. What am I doing at Clint's? Hey guys, one second. I gotta beat this level. Are you looking forward to the Spirits Eve Festival? It's probably my favorite. Oh, good. Why, why are you smashing the pumpkins, then? You like smashing pumpkins? Okay. Um... I guess we're just hitting Clint's for the uh, geode smashiness. And oh, I didn't give Marnie the diamond. Hey, collect Clint's business tax. Dude, man, it's uh, I think that's full on graft at the point that you're uh, you're just collecting weekly payments from Clint. That's good. Thank you, Clint. Uh, have we done the Dwarven Helm yet? Probably. Stones. Clint, this is going downhill fast, man. Another Helm? Alright. E easy. And we might not have that one. Calcite? Gem Knight. Alright. Fingers and toes and eyeballs crossed. Copper. Wow. Clint, come on, man. Stone? Come on, Clint. Thanks for nothing. Maybe something. Maybe one of those will be worthwhile. Uh, just the helm. Chain stick. Ooh, got a reward. Uh, perfect timing. Alright, so we don't have to... Uh, take back any of those. Oh, uh, now you're going to go collect the library business tax? Everyone seems a little happier on the weekend, don't you think? I'm on the job seven days a week, though. Yeah, collecting cash funds. Uh, all right, we got a prize ticket is important. Uh, we got to keep the progress going there. Um, I, I don't think either. Oh, no, the, the next ones are the artifact bundles, right? So those could be very valuable. A little more book action at the library. Let's check in. Oh, Willie's out fishing today, too, so I can't get new uh, supplies. I was hoping he might have some uh, art or anchovy bait. I almost said artichoke bait. Oh, come on. Just one early lucky fish would be outstanding. Let's get this done and done. Come on. Come on. Just an anchovy. Oh, 
All sardines all the time, I guess. That could be an anchovy, right? Does that seem like an anchovy? You guys tell me. Anchovy? I had a warp totem right now, I, or a scepter, I would so be back home picking up the pumpkin for, oh, damn it, pumpkin for Caroline, so that we could uh, get her filled up and come back, because we definitely caught more anchovies later. Oh, there's bubbles. All right, here we go. We're onto the on the bubble track. Probably be gone by the time we get over there. Son of a! That's our first treasure chest in there. Look at all these dang sardines. It's eight sardines, no anchovies. Calling you out on your shenanigans. Oh boy. I mean, is this a thing? Uh, should I already know that if you catch a dozen sardines all at once that there's no chance of you getting your quest done? By the power of rock, I call upon anchovy. Uh, it's something different, but uh, albacore maybe? Doesn't feel like an anchovy. A uh, super cucumber? Aggressive anchovy. Uh, I, not an anchovy. Oh, look, 
come on, man. Don't sardine. Come on, be an anchovy. Come on, buddy. Please. There's new bubbles. I see the new bubbles. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> this is like rage fish now. I am so angry. Uh I knew coming in this game has not favored fishing at all uh it was supposed to be good spirits i only needed one more stupid anchovy oh thank god all right now i gotta go find willy before uh he comes in and locks himself in his place where's clint is he up at the saloon I know he likes to fish, but does he then go in for a drink after? Yes. Get out of get out of the team chair. Hey, you succeeded! The anchovy's an exciting catch, don't you think? One time I caught one the size of a small motorcycle. An anchovy? I'm not sure you identified that fish correctly. Oh, here's your reward. Congratulations. Uh uh yeah, yeah. Alright. I gotta go. That was uh that was terrible. Sometimes I wonder how I ended up in this town. Well, I, th I thought your grandfather and your great-grandfather and your great-great-grandfather were all blacksmiths, and either this town needed one or this is where you grew up. Huh? Oh, we're we're not talking then. Okay. Uh, fish a smoker. Ooh. Uh, I like the idea of a book. Fish book? Hey, Penny. Uh... Penny likes emeralds and rubies and flowers. Does Penny like diamonds? Oh, Marnie's right in there. Hang on. Never mind. Uh, I was going to give you this. Should I give you a, jo a jade? Things changed a lot after the Jojo Mart went up. It's been really bad for Pierre's shop. Mom loves Jojo Mart, though. The prices are cheap, so she can afford a lot more there than she ever could at Pierre's. That's probably the way it goes. Uh, here, would you like a jade? Thank you, this looks special. Uh, you didn't love it. Alright, Marnie. I am so sorry I meant to give this to you earlier today. Don't let anybody see. Because uh, they might jump you for it out in the parking lot. But uh, here you go. Uh, this is an incredible gift, thanks. Yeah, I know. I, I'm scummy. That was your birthday gift. I always see Clinton here, but he won't talk to anyone. He just glances over his shoulder now and then. Oh. Okay, okay. You don't have to repeat it so much. Decorations accentuate the feeling of the season. I think it's a worthwhile tradition. Oh, I don't know if it's really a tradition. Just decorating? I mean, it's kind of. Uh, Pam isn't responding. I think you can you can make it traditional in the sense of we always decorate our yard the day after Thanksgiving, uh, and it doesn't matter if it's raining or snowing or whatever. That's when we do it kind of deal. Um, you can have... Uh, decorations that become traditional in and of themselves because you take care of them year after year after year and uh, maybe somebody in the family made them, that kind of stuff. But... Oh yeah, how's your day going? I'm sorry, I didn't read all those. Uh, yeah, you're good. Um, I should be checking here now um, for the daily special stuff. Uh, let's get these two. 
can save that one for a bit. I need that five grand, but uh, I am looking for ice cream. Uh, I'm also looking for plums. So we finished the anchovy. I didn't get Caroline her pumpkin yet. We'll do that tomorrow. Uh, we're still working on that, and that's going to be a minute. Oh, what's this one? Willie! <laughs> I want to punch you in the throat. I don't mean that. That's awful. No, I don't really mean that, but uh, come on, man. Let's go see if we can catch some night salmon. I think they're they're available late. And this is when it should only be Chubb and Bream uh, competing. Did we get a new fishing level in any of that? What a just rotten day. We got some good stuff done, and uh, the farming and all that is going well, but come on. Uh, that was terrible. Also, can you milk a sleeping cow? <laughs> I'd really like to milk my cows. What I am going to do is close the doors so that we can milk them tomorrow before they go tearing off all over the farm. Uh, eventually, we will get our little fencing areas taken care of around them a bit more, but, or at least decide ourselves if they get to wander free or not. All right, that and that, and that looks like about it. Um, I had one sardine. I think I'm going to upgrade, and again, sardines are not crazy money, but let's take the biggest stack there. I'll add another albacore just because I can. I'll add this extra uh, deal there and um, I guess three to four isn't going to make a huge difference. Uh, let's leave these guys here to make some more aged row. And then, oh, I've got to put the small one fast way. Also, why did I pull out that one regular sardine? Also, this can go. Got some more recycling to stockpile. Go in there too. Right, and I guess these guys do go back in the fish bin. Uh, which is alarmingly full now. I guess the small muff don't uh, fit in there. Actually, this could have come back over. Technically, uh, the row could live up in the uh, crab pot and forage bundle. Sorry. Um, but we're going to use that quickly. All right. Now we got some stuff to unload here. This, this, this those, that, and then here, still got time, this, got one of these, I uh, don't have one of those, I want one of those, so let's sell this, and when you clean everything up, you realize I've still got deluxe bait. Now, can I put my skellington? them there and I'm just gonna stash you for now and then I'm gonna go to bed because we're low on energy and let's get it all right mute again Jeez, this is ridiculous
What's up, Nate? How you doing? Welcome in, my friend. Hello. Alright, let's get back after it. Uh, 6,600. Not bad. Alright, pumpkin for Caroline. Extra pumpkin for Abigail so she has a practice one. And loves me more than her mom. No, that's weird. Uh, it's going to be cloudy with gusts of wind throughout the day. Uh, spirits feel neutral of the day. The day is in your hands. Yes, it is. Uh, glazed yams. It's yam season, and what better way to enjoy these delightful tubers than slathering them in a sweet, sticky glaze. Need a nice ripe yam and a whole bunch of sugar. Uh, here's how you do it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um... I, I had really planned to return to Lotro a long, long time ago, but, um, you know, it's just one of, one of many. Um, but yeah, that's not, that's not an offensive question to me at all. Good morning, Mr. Augie. Do you think you, because you used to play some, uh, some Lotro too. I haven't seen you play it on stream. Uh, you get back into it at all? Good morning, Mr. Augie. This is probably the follow-up from the Amaranth. Came by to ask you a favor. Uh, such as... Oh, really? Uh, you see, I'm trying to train my goats to say hello, but they simply won't pay attention to me unless I have their favorite treat, cave carrots. So, since I'm scared of the mines, I thought, well, maybe you would bring me a cave carrot when you have the chance. Uh, there's no pressure, but if you want to, just swing by my house between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. with a cave carrot. You'll make an old girl very happy. Bye. Uh, by the way, any, anybody hanging out, um, Nate playing, was it Observer 7 or something like that? I was so fascinated. That was crazy. Like, multiplayer, what's changing in this picture and kind of as a horror game? Oh, man. That hit. But at the, when you were setting it all up and I had no idea what was going on, I was like, is this like a like a Call of Duty shooter type game where you're Overwatch for the game? <laughs> like, it was at the role in the multiplayer, multi-streamer stream? Uh, Marty came by the farm and asked if he'd bring her Cave Carrot. She's trying to train her goats to speak, and Cave Carrot is her favorite snack. All right. Observation duty. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that was crazy. All right, so we can cross out this one today if we take a pumpkin to Caroline, which is good because Caroline just unlocked tea. Marnie now wants a cave carrot, so we got to go back by there. I mean, I, I guess, again, I missed her birthday, so uh, that's all valid. Speaking of which, it is now um, uh, Robin's birthday today, so we got to get that. And we're still working on cranberries. Let's get our watering can going. Uh, Moira's coming out soon on Angmar Legendary server. Or Moria, sorry. Did I say? <laughs> I think I said Moira. Uh, Moria. Yeah. Uh, but isn't... Hasn't there always been Moria? See, that's what I, I don't... I can't keep up with all that stuff because it's like, oh, no, but this is the different kind of uh, maps and all that, and that's what I never never keep track of too well. I get lost. Pale broth. When I'm not taking care of animals, I like to experiment in the kitchen. Since we've become friends, I want to share some recipes with you. I hope you like this one. This. I, I am audible. So many birthdays. So many birthdays. Oh, here, yeah, I get, it, touche, right? Uh, lots of birthdays. So now I don't need to give uh, Marnie this amaranth that I've been growing, but it'll be good cash. Oh, look, our second row of broccolis are up, too. I like that. We really need the cranberries, though, to finish out the big board quest. Uh, and we'll get another one of those cooking tomorrow. All in the pursuit of making us a bunch of money before we head into winter. I I feel like we're doing pretty well, but I also... This is about the time when I'm always like, oh my god, we've totally been missing... Oh, 
dirty. No. Bad water. Uh, I totally am missing something. Like, I don't know what I'm missing. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, please let me water. Damn it. Arr! There's a legendary server that will slowly release old content so everyone can play the old stuff together. Moria is... Yeah, I remember when Moria was coming out at the initial time. Um, see, I don't... I don't know. That's when it, it feels... And I don't want to say exploitive. And, and you know, you've seen... I, I In fact, I think we found uh, each other streaming stuff through Poteen and... Uh, hanging out in Lotro. Um, I love the game, and I love it. What's exploitive about the style that they use to monetize is, uh, like, first of all, you sell a whole bunch of stuff to make people top-tier the game immediately, and then you back in and be like, oh, now you, now you have to do a special thing in order to do the content the way the game played out. I, I don't know. It's just... Old man yells at Sky, I think. I, I don't mean to be negative about a game I love at all. Um, but it's weird. Doesn't that feel weird? I don't know. Maybe maybe there's a really cool fit. I'm just such a soloer that it, I'm like, whatever. I'll just go wander around and see all this stuff. Uh, but I can, I, I can understand trying to take a bunch of... Uh... uh Every, you know, new server is a legendary. Everybody gets on it and goes together. Um, but how is that different from doing that on an actual server if you just made new tunes, right? I don't know. I'm sure I'm missing something that's really cool. Um, and, I, again, to anybody who's watching on YouTube or anything like that, I am I am not negative to Lotro. I love Lotro. I love I love Tolkien to start with, and I love the immersive world. It is so amazing. Um, it's one of those things that I'm like, oh, okay. Get it. I'm okay not getting it. Your current characters on the other server. Well, right. Right. But they would always be unaffected, right? Like if I had. Because I had. Uh, I had Habbage, and then I had, like, Ham Lin or something like that, who was my uh, Trapper Hunter or something. And I didn't play him on stream, but especially as I was first getting going and needed gear, his crafting and stuff would provide uh, upgrades to the equipment that Habbage had, and he also earned some gold early on that I could apply towards the house and everything like that. Uh, maybe for housing and stuff? But uh, the two, you know, I could still have, and I'm sure I still do have uh, Ham, let's call him Hamlin. I'm sure that's wrong. It's been a year. Um, my alt, he hasn't, he didn't get, like, brought along as Habage was getting leveled up. Oh, everybody's capped at 50. So no, it, so kind of you can rush up to the cap, but you can't rush beyond it. Uh, that that makes a little sense. Again, that's where I'm kind of blinders, right? Because I just don't do a lot of multiplayer stuff. So I'm like, I don't know. That makes sense. All right. Um, yeah, that's cool. Like I said, I, I'm... I'm really happy that they're uh, they're responsive to the community. The community uh, came back in such a big way uh, from what it had been that I, I'm I'm very happy that they're looking out for it. <laughs> 